everyone, this is Vicki at Messy Table Studio. I'm trying to do the last of Carved December. I have carved them on time, but it just takes a while to put together the, um, the videos and the editing and then the printing and all of it. So today should be number 29, although today is the 31st. <laughs> I did take a day off. So let me do full disclosure. I sat down with uh, the rubber and was going to carve this, which is a, oh, I, I, it's unspeakably ugly. Um, let's see, where did I start? Okay, here it is. This is what I started with after I stamped it. It just did not work out the way I thought in my head. So, you know, the good thing about this is, there's the next side, which is this, which I am so excited about. I think this is probably my most successful card. Maybe it takes me 30 days to get back into the saddle of carving. I'm not really sure. So let me show you the prints. This was the first one, which you can't even see anything. I mean, I see it, but it doesn't... You see it very faintly right, right there on camera. Um, my mistake, again, was doing the colors on the pad, and this is an 8x10. Uh, I did it... I should have reversed the way I did the colors. So, uh, anyhow, so you can't really see this, but it's okay. I'm not distressed at it, so I learned from my mistakes. And I did the colors in the opposite direction as the first one. And this is what I got. I am super stoked that this turned out so well. So what I learned is the darker color should go first, and then the lighter contrasting color goes on second. Took me a while. Like, um, say, 30 days? <laughs> 31 days? There's the first print. Then I thought, well, let me try this. So I did yellow and green. And because this is not a... Uh, I don't even know how big this is. I just just, you know, cut off a chunk. Let's see, this is, it says it's two inches this way, but it's not this way, it's two and a quarter. So that's why when I did the print, I have this extra line here that's not a full, full print, which is fine because I can just cut this off and use this for something small, and then I have three rows of full prints. Well, almost full, so it would go this way. So this would be extra, and this would be extra. I can make it cover a mini book or, you know, collage with it. So there's the yellow and the green. The green went first, then the yellow second. All right, so I, I did learn from my mistakes, but it took me 31 days. <laughs> so then I thought, well, I need a brown and yellow. So this one is brown and yellow, and I am crazy about this print. And again, these are the only solid ones. This outer edge is not a full print because this is a two by two and a quarter. So it, it's just not gonna fit on there. And if it was on a five by seven, it'd be even worse. But I thought, well, let me do a full sheet. Maybe this, this'll this be the print where I actually do a, a, a good print. <laughs> I'm so excited. So that is, and I did not film any of this because I was so irritated when I got done with this mess. I couldn't, I had to turn the camera off. I deleted the whole thing, flipped it over, and I did use a template to draw the basic circle. Then I penciled in the petals and only carved those. And then, you know, the round, and that's what I got. I'm so excited. This is one of my better flowers, and I really like this one. This will be a stamp that will stay forever. Just so cute. All right, guys, so that's this one. And I think this is the 29th I st or the 30th. No, it's 29th, so I still have to do 30 and 31, so I'll be back. Okay, so this will probably be the 30th of December. I'm not going to carve this in front of you because it takes too long, but I want you to see that I did actually do a 2 by 2 square. We'll see if I can stick to it. I'll be back with the jelly prints. Okay, well, I'm not going to show you 
carving because like it's already done. I wanted to show you the inspiration for these two stamps that I'm going to carve. The first one is of a water lily and I think this is a photograph that my friend Josie Bergstrom took of, of the water lily in somewhere in Virginia Beach or Norfolk. This is the picture that I drew from a photograph that was on Facebook. And then I took the um, vellum and a pencil and it was this way because whatever you card goes backwards. So I did it this way. And then I put it onto the um, the rubber and I did carve it and I've already made my first stamp and it is within the two inch realm. So I'm thinking, I don't want to get rid of all the black, only the outside black like I did with this one. So I'm going to try to gingerly get rid of the black outline. There's that one. And here's how it's stamped up. All right, the second one is of a tulip that was really large. And I wanted to carve it. I don't know if I find it in the book. I wanted to carve it, but it was so tall I could not use it in the 2x2. Two two. So I took it out of my book where I did these drawings umpteen months ago, years ago. I've been working on it slowly. Okay, let's go towards the front. It was a very tall tulip and I really loved it. Right now I can't find it so I'm thumbing through here. Oh, no, that's not it. These are, none of these are my tulip. This is not the tulip that I drew. The tulip I drew was tall and skinny. Tall and skinny. Let's look for tall and skinny. Well, fooey. <laughs> I know it's here because I drew it. Oh, gotta be kidding. Well, I, there it is right there. <laughs> okay, so then I took the vellum as I did the others, traced it onto here, and then rub that onto the um, the rubber. So here are the last two carvings for Carve December. They're going to be flowers, which I totally love. And I will be back when I'm done carving and I will show you the results. Okay, so here, is, here are the last two stamps of Carve December. Let's see, let's go with this one. As soon as I can find the stamp. Okay, well, we'll go with this one. Because <laughs> I can't find the other stamp. <laughs> Fiddlesticks. All right, so this one is not clean. But if I rub on it for a second, you might be able to see the design. It is of a long, the long stem tulip. But I think it needs more carving done to it to take away um, some of the space or the little marks because it's hard to see the design when I put the jelly print on it. it. Might be just fine with a black stamp pad. And this is it with the blue, the teal blue and a gold yellow, a yellow ochre. So this one did not turn out the way I was hoping. I think it just needs a little detail work on it. When I clean it up and let it dry, tomorrow I might um, do a little clean up on it. And then there is this one whose stamp seems to have run off. Oh, nope, not there either. All right, let me find this other stamp. Okay, and this last one is the water lily. And I have to say, it's not horrible. Let me show you the first one that I did. Right, here's the first one you can see like nothing because the purple I used was kind of a weak formula so that didn't go too well then I tried it again with a little more of the purple you can kind of see it but it's not as good as it should have been then I tried this one 
not impressed. But then this one was a little bit better. Although I have to I, I have to say that when I saw one of these, which one was it? When I saw this print, I went back and I recarved some of it and I can see that I need to carve more. If this was just done on the black stamp pad, it would be good enough and you wouldn't see all this other stuff. But because I'm pressing it down into something that's flexible, like a jelly print, that's why you see so many of these lines. I bet if I cleaned it up and did it on a black stamp pad, you would not see all that extra stuff. Or you would see a reduced amount of it. So that is the end of Card December 2023. I'm so happy. I made it to the end. I cannot believe I am done. I really thought this was going to go on forever. It sure felt like it though. It did feel like a very long time. So there we are. I completed hashtag carve December 2023 and I am done. Over and 